Good morning and a happy first day back here at Animal Kingdom. Now yesterday, two of Disney's four parks reopened. So we were at Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom was the other one that reopened yesterday. So we're here for a very first time after the four month long closure. On Wednesday, Epcot and Hollywood Studios will follow with their grand reopening. I'm excited to be here. It's been so long. This is such a beautiful park. Let's go check out the crowd levels. Let's see what they're doing with characters. Let's just go have some fun. My favorite ride is in here. Let's go. And FYI, I am in the smoking section right now, so that's why my face mask is off. I'm not smoking. I just wanted to get this really quick shot. All right, mask back on. We're ready. Let's go. We just walked through the turnstiles, so you do just tap your magic band. No thumbprint. And we are in. One of my favorite things about Animal Kingdom is all the hidden quiet spots. Usually there's not that many people around these spots, but today I think it's going to be a bit of a ghost town. We're currently making our way to my favorite ride, Expedition Everest. Oh, we're gonna meet up with a friend and today is gonna be a very good day. Crossing over to Asia. Just follow the screams. We are almost there. To the top of that peak. Going on a little expedition. Here's the queue for Expedition Everest. I wonder how long the wait time says and then how long we will actually wait. I have a feeling it won't be that long. Okay, so it's stating 20 minutes, but like Magic Kingdom, I think it'll be less. And here's Adam the Woo. Whoa. You're in line for Everest too? I am in line for Everest under this umbrella. <laughs> and it's working kind of, even though the sun is like going through it. How many times do you think that we could ride Everest in one day? Are we doing that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with the wait time's only like 15 minutes, so you could ride a considerable amount of time. I would think so. There's a couple of other rides that I think we'll, might we'll try be a to get on. Nauseous, though, if we ride this multiple times. You are very, very right, especially with this heat. Two might be my limit. Well, there goes that idea. We were standing in this room for quite a while, and they finally made the announcement. Everest is having technical difficulties, and please exit the queue. Try again later, folks. Well, there's definitely other rides we can go on, and we'll return and see if it's operating later on. And from Everest, we are heading into Dino Land. We're heading into the Dino Institute to ride Dinosaur. It's fast. It's a blast. It's in the past. We got a five minute standby entrance wait time. We got row three. There's a party of two in front of us that will be in row one. So there is a screen or a plexiglass separating the parties as well. We're on definitely a five minute wait. Time to go get that dino. Oh, here we go. Taking us back in time. Okay. Now, let's go get that dino. Dyracosaurus. Not our dino. Nope, not him. Is that our dino? us back in time. Yep. What year is it now? I don't even want to say what year it oh, is Oh god, we didn't skip ahead? It's 2020 still. So. Oh no! Another big attraction here is the Kilimanjaro Safaris and it is a five minute wait. Usually this is at least an hour. Wow, there are a lot of animals out today. Known as a doulap. Those help them regulate their body temperature out here. They're one of the only species of zebra to have that. Use those termite mounds as scratching posts, wearing them down until smaller species of antelope can hop on top and use them as lookout towers. The elephants off to the left. Coming up on the left as well, we're also passing by. They are the largest birds in the world. They've been around since prehistoric times and they're actually oh, on the Oh man. He's, He's, heading right heading right He's heading, heading right for us. Oh, look at him. Whereas the black rhino we saw earlier weighs around 3,000 pounds, a white rhino like this can weigh up to 5,000. And they can still charge at 35 miles an hour. You see him down there? He looks fake, but he's blinking. I swear he's real. Very active today. The little legs are so cute. Oh! <laughs> wow! Looks like they're playing a game of tag. Woohoo! He just jumps. Though, a uh, meerkat is actually more closely related to like a mongoose. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do they eat scorpions? Yes, they do. Yes. 
I used it? to live in Las Vegas, and I, now I'm remembering, I was like, I should get one of those mirror cameras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at a little map. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just rolling over. <laughs> I think you want to keep more than a six feet of distance from these guys. It's very interesting to see Harambe like this. Harambe is usually a very lively area, full of music, and sometimes they have performers out. And here comes Chip and Dale and Goofy. And there they go. As we walk away from Harambe, the mood is starting to change. A little bit of a different vibe heading into Pandora. A ride I have never been on, but is very, very popular, is here in Pandora. The Flight of Passage, Aperture's Flight of Passage. Normally the line is at least two hours long, but today we have a standby entrance of 10 minutes. Adam, you've never been on this ride either, right? It's my first time. And probably for the same reason as me, you don't want to wait the two hours. It's the wait time. Yeah. I can deal with 10 minutes. Oh yeah, for sure. Sign me up. <laughs> Gracias. We just got off Flight of Passage, and Adam, what did you think of it? I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was great. Okay. I thought it was, uh, it wasn't worth a two hour wait, so no. I'm glad it was only a 10 minute wait. Yeah. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Okay. Yeah. See, I felt like I had two things going against it for me personally, just because I don't like 3D rides. I tend to get a little bit of motion sickness. Um, and I've never seen the movie, but there were moments that I thought was really neat. Like the cool air was blasting at the right exact moment, the perfect moment, um, the smells of it. But yeah, it did kind of remind me of Soren. Kind of uh, like Soren. I mean, as soon as we walked in, I was like, oh, it smells kind of like Soren in here. Like Soren, and the ride vehicle is a little different, but yeah. just the way it tilts forward. I did like the big whale creatures that were coming out of the water mm -hmm. and the mist and all that. Yeah. It was very well done, 100% well done. I don't come through this area too often because it's normally very, very crowded. Let's go check out Navi River Journey and see what the wait time is on that. 10 minutes standby entrance. Back at Expedition Everest, there was a little bit of a line only because it was still down. We waited about three minutes and they open back up. That's a long way up. My favorite got to ride one that I haven't ridden before. Got to hang out with my friend Adam and thanks so much for joining me. Until next time guys, we'll see you later. Bye!